Medina was born in AD 15 and was mostly raised by her mother, grandmother Antonia Minor, and her great-grandmother Livia. They were all important influences in her life. Agrippina's great-uncle Tiberius became emperor during her childhood. Once she turned 13, Agrippina was placed in an arranged marriage with Gnaeus Domitus Ahenobarbus. The count ruling Domitus called him a man who was in every aspect of his life detestable. Not much is known about the relationship between him and Agrippina. In the year 39, Agrippina, one of her sisters, and her other sister's, sister's widower, Lepidus, attempted to murder Caligula in order to make Lepidus the new emperor. The plan, known as the Plot of Three Daggers, failed, and Lepidus was executed, while Agrippina and Livilla were exiled to the Pontine Islands. Caligula was murdered shortly afterwards, and Agrippina's paternal uncle, Claudius, became the new emperor. He lifted the exiles of Agrippina and Livilla. Agrippina's son, Lucius, was born in 37 AD and would grow up to become the Emperor Nero. Agrippina married a man named Crispus. He died a few years later, and the rumor spread that Agrippina had poisoned him in order to gain his estate. Later, Agrippina married the current Emperor, Claudius, who also happened to be her uncle. This was not a marriage based in love. Agrippina planned on using Claudius' power to her advantage. Agrippina continued to rise in political influence, and even had a colony named after her. She manipulated Claudius into adopting her son, Lucius, later Nero, and making him his successor. However, Claudius began to regret this decision and began preparing his own son, Britannicus, for the throne instead. Claudius was put soon after poisoned at a banquet with deadly mushrooms. After Nero was put in place as emperor, Agrippina gained real political power and respect, being allowed to sit in on meetings behind a curtain. For a few months after, at the beginning of Nero's reign, Agrippina had complete control over the empire. However, Nero soon broke out on his own. No, mom. Agrippina began to plot with Britannicus to bring him to the throne, overthrowing Nero and returning Agrippina to her unofficial position of power. Upon hearing of this, Nero had Britannicus poisoned. Not again! Sometime around the year 57, Agrippina was exiled from the royal palace. Despite this, she remained an influential presence and was adored by many. She still sometimes saw her son on brief visits. Soon afterwards, Agrippina's tale came to an end with her death. It is unknown how she truly died, but some say that she died through a self-sinking boat designed by her own son. Agrippina was a greatly important female figure who retained her fame throughout the centuries, inspiring books, operas, and movies. She showed that women could hold positions of power effectively.